Jonathan, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, man. We were talking about the your, your rookie. You had a similar plight, right? It was Frank injury then, right? What was it like that year sitting out all that time? What do you remember about that season? I think what made that season summed up for was, you know, my wife was still in college. It was really my first time missing injury and being a rookie in the league. You know, you want to come in and make an impact. So that I feel like that time was definitely harder than now, but it never gets easier. Right. Yeah. So can you explain exactly what happened? Did it happen like on one particular play? Is it Was it something that had been bothering you? Is it something maybe that you aggravated lifting weights? It kind of explain to the best of your ability how it all happened. Yeah, man, it was kind of a freak injury. The play before I went down, uh, I think it was the play before Derek Gary scored that shot. reached out to grab him and just, you know, got more yanked back. And, you know, it kind of happened so quickly. It's hard to really tell what specifically happened, but just come arm in a weird way, and well, that was that. And so did you, did it, uh, like, you know, when you see a, t a pec tear, like with, like, weightlifter guys, it, like, turns purple. I mean, it's really disgusting. Is that what happened? So that is not what happened with my pec. My pec didn't tear off like that. Okay. But it's weird. Like, you look at my pec, it doesn't look too bad. But, but you know, I had the X-ray and MRI, so yeah. unfortunate. But, I mean, at the end of the day, part of the football. Can right, you lift your cool. arms normally and all that stuff? Because you got a baby on the way. Yeah. Like, I got an awesome wife who's uh, <laughs> going to be taking care of me until the time for me to take care of her. Wow. wow. Right. When, when is your surgery scheduled? Uh, this morning. Oh, oh my God. Right now. Are you, you're on your way to the hospital right now? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. Do you, um, how, many sur how many times have you done that? How many times have you had surgery? Uh, this will be my fifth surgery. Ooh, I fifth. had two shoulders, a mm. back, a knee, and then a foot. Oh, that, that, that's that a real deal. Like, do you get a little bit angry? I mean, you're kind of a grizzled veteran, but, I mean, I don't think people understand, if you haven't had surgery before, how – I mean, it's intense. Sure. The rehab is intense. But he's going to get that propofol yeah. at least during the surgery. I know, it's that's not good. Like hair. Like but, you, first of all, you got to walk <laughs> around with that gown and your ass sticking out. That's brutal. Yeah, he doesn't care. I hate that. <laughs> um, it's humiliating. It's humiliating. <laughs> you go into your locker, you got your butt hanging out. Oh, it's brutal. But then, just like the rehab sucks, the pain, just like getting off, like when the, uh, what do they call that, when the nerve block or whatever goes off, then the pain kicks in. Like, can you describe, like, are you used to it or do you dread it? Well, you know, what I always tell people is people, the people only see the, the good parts about playing in the league and the money and the fame and the, and the title that comes with it. But there's a lot of other things that come with it as well. Right. You know, what I always tell people is if you're motivated by money, eventually you're going to look at it and be like, it's not worth it. So mm -hmm. money doesn't really motivate me. And, and, I'm going to be just hungry now as I was coming back to my injury my rookie year, and I'm looking forward to it. And does it suck? Yeah, but everyone has a job, and everyone has a part of that job that sucks, which just happens to be my part of it. So when you came after the injury and you came off the field and you're on the sideline, did you know, all right, this is it, or did you did you think it was as bad as it was? It's kind of hard to tell because I mean, a lot of times the more severe injuries, you don't really have a lot of pain. So for me, I really wasn't in a lot of pain. It just didn't feel like I had a lot of power, so. Uh -huh. I was kind of hopeful. I've never really had a pick injury, so I didn't know. Um, so I was kind of hopeful that it would only be a week or two. But you know, after that, I kind of cleared everything up for us. I right. feel guilt for having a. I mean, it's not a muscular pack, but it's functional. Like, my, will you my, give him your pack? Oh, yeah. I don't I would, think he I would, wants it. I would give, give him your man boot. I would give him my flimsy pack in a heartbeat. <laughs> he could stay on the field. Hey, John, I would. I wouldn't want it if I was you. But I would give it. Yeah. I would give it to you, Jonathan. Right. You What's your max you've ever benched, Cakes? Oh, I mean, it would go probably 155. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, just, it's, it's laughable. But, again, it's functional. Right. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do that for John, you, John. can we talk about the game a little bit per, before the injury? I know it sucks. Um, yeah, of course. Uh, what was sort of your, your, your take on that? Um, you know, how do you feel, feel the guys are going to fill in for you? Johnny Newton. I mean, we, we keep hearing all these great things about him. I mean, is he ready to step in? Is it going to take him some time? Just... Well, I mean, I don't, it's hard to say if someone's ready or not because you don't know until they get out there. But what I can say is I can't think of a better guy to step into the situation. A young guy with a lot to prove and the work ethic to match it. I mean, 
I'm excited. I talked to him and I told him I'm excited to see what he's able to do with more opportunity of being the guy for him. And I'm going to be rooting for him. I'm going to still be around to help out any way I can. And, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to see how he grows as a player over the next year. Well, what happened uh, on Sunday? It just seemed like event, you know, it was just, just couldn't slow him down. I mean, it's just Derrick Henry's just too much. Lamar just too talented, it, it felt like. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the Ravens. You you can't shoot yourself so you can't have a lot of miscues and they're gonna attack your gaps and they're gonna attack your discipline and your edges and King Dow's doing it right and one guy not wrong. They're gonna you know, they're gonna find the weakness. I think we started off strong being able to get some turnovers, let up let up some big plays in the spring games and a couple of plays here on our edges. Um, but you know, just penalties. Penalties on crucial spots, Kurt. Um yeah, I mean it's hard to point out one thing in particular, but I would say you know, I just obviously want to play the run a little bit better. Um, people are going to look at the number and say, oh, they had a terrible day on the ground. Like, it wasn't as bad as it looked in the stat sheet. I think we held up at times. And then at the end of the game, it just kind of got away from us a little bit.